may have seen this young lady here, Yvonne Conti, on various segments across the country. She joins us. She has a new book out called Cry, Laugh, and Cook. Yvonne, it's nice right. to have you on the show. Good well, it's morning. It's good to be here. Thank you so much. So, Cry, Laugh, and Cook. Yep. I, I've, I've been crying so far today because you have <laughs> yeah, the top five uh, <laughs> songs that make men cry. Yep. Uh, I always laugh, whether it's at myself or not, and I like to cook. So, what's how, does this organize all three of those in one? Like you know that? what? I wrote Cry, Laugh, Cook. Be certainly because so many of my, my clients were asking for recipes. They say, hey, you know, tell me how you make your meatballs. And I thought, well, I'll throw them in the book. But Cry, Laugh, Cook is because I grew up in a very strong Italian family with four girls fighting over one bathroom. Oh, and so we were always having spats. And my father would, would, wouldn't stand for it. He was like, hey, get over here. Your family. Stop it. You know, kiss and make up. So we'd cry a little bit with our spats. Then we'd laugh. And then he'd take us in the kitchen and we'd cook. And my father was like the organizer. He'd say, chop this, crack, you know, pour that, you know, wipe that out. He was like, you know. Yeah. And, we, and we learned how to cook, all four of us in the kitchen with my mother and father. And then we'd sit around the table and we'd have a blast. So cry, laugh, yeah, cook. cook. So the cooking kind of makes people laugh after you cry. It brings people together, it doesn't it? It brings people together. And okay. the book is a lot of stories about the family and a lot of things that help us to learn how to be better people, all right. which is what my humor advantage is all about. So what are we cooking today? This isn't the recipe. Oh, what my cooking. goodness. Guess what we need? A bowl to put it in. We need a bowl. I you think I what? can find one. You got a bowl? I'm going to look funny. behind you. You take over. Oh, la mio. How's that? I found a bowl. She got a bowl. That's good because my singing is not up to par. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is the easiest recipe you're ever going to make. Really? And it's so beautiful. It's a salad. Chi chichi ensalada. It's garbanzo beans, or if you want to call them chichi beans is what we call them, these things. And um, I said that to one of my friends. I said, we're making chichi ensalada. You put a, a can of beans in a bowl, and then you take a little two tablespoons of lemon juice. I said, we're making chichi ensalada. She said, oh, that sounds like a dance to me. <laughs> you cut up a bunch of green peppers. You throw the green peppers in like this. Uh, I think it's a quarter cup, but I, I put more. Okay. I don't ever measure anything. And the recipe is a, a cup and a half of tomatoes. Now, you can have chopped tomatoes. It looks like the Italian flag right there nearly. It, it does. It looks like my book. <laughs> you can have chopped tomatoes. You can, you can do grape tomatoes. You can do, and you know, chop Whatever them up you want, any way yeah. you want. Throw in a little oregano. And I like, fre oregano. I like fresh oregano, but that's OK. That's we'll okay. use this. Throw in a little bit of salt. Grind up some pepper. Now you've been around for a, lot, a while as far as your humor seminars, and how do you like to incorporate, um, I guess, humor in life? Humor in life. Quarter cup of uh, olive oil, and use the good, a third cup. Use the good olive oil. Um, you know what? I have a, a, a thing that I think about. You have a choice in life. You can be happy, you can be miserable. You can be kind, you can be evil. Mm. But it's so much easier to be kind and happy than it is to be miserable. And Smile is contagious, isn't you it? You know, it really is. And, and just about, it's just about being nice to people. I was at a grocery store yesterday getting my goodies here. And this woman, she was about 60, she, she went to get a plastic bag and she, those little twist ties, yeah, she yeah. dropped them all over the place. Yeah. And I watched and there was, here, watch this. You just go like this. Oh, you crush mm. it like yeah. that. That's strength. And then this takes all this, and I have arthritis, can you imagine? Then you take this, which my great Aunt Vincenza gave me. It's a wonderful little garlic press. Oh, raw go, garlic is awesome. Oh, yeah, 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 I love so it. So she spilled the ties she all spilled over. She spilled them all over the place and nobody helped her pick her up. She's on her hands and knees. There's 10 people walking by and nobody's helping her. So I bent over and I, I helped her pick up the pick Very up the uh, the twist ties. You would have thought I simple gave act her of gold. kindness. Yeah, a simple act of kindness. Really quick, uh, you're going to be yeah. signing some books. Where's that going to be? Okay, Bohemian Beans at the Regional Market okay. on the ninth. All right. Nine o'clock uh, at the Onondaga Free Library yes. on the sixteenth. I know that at is at one o'clock, and I'll be at um, the spa. Mirbo. Uh, Mirbo Spa on the 17th, right. and that's going to be a great well, weekend. Well, Caller and I want to copy of this great book, Absolutely. Cry, Laugh, and Cook, 671-9990. Wants a copy of the book. Yvonne, thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm. Cry. <laughs> he cried. He laughed. <laughs> and we he cooked. cooked. Now we eat. <laughs> now we eat. Well, I would love to have you try this, if you don't mind. No, no, Absolutely. No, no. And remember, it's just olive oil, lemon juice, uh, and your vegetables. And you can put tuna in this. I'll just give you a little bit because you're probably not going to. Absolutely. Gonna Here you go. Thank you. Here's a fork. Um, Thank you. You know, you can put anything in this. It makes such a beautiful presentation. It and really it has does. has all those good things and for you that we just talked about, things. right? Yeah, the now, protein. You grew up in Utica, Yvonne. So you have any Utica dishes in there? I was born in Utica. There's Utica chicken riggies are in there. Oh. Utica <laughs> greens are in there. Pasta vajul is in this book. Uh, Scott, Scott all. all is in the book. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> Where can we get the book? You can get the book at any Barnes & Noble bookstore, or you can come to the book signings at Bohemian Beans, at the Regional Market on the 9th, at the uh, Onondaga Free Library on the 16th, or at uh, Maribou Spa on the 17th. Now and you that's attribute a whole weekend. all this to your Utica upbringing, right? You know what? <laughs> I have to say, you can find the best food and the best pastries and the best bread in Utica, New York. But you know, we do have Columbus Bakery here, which is good, and we have we do, we do have a lot of uh, because a lot of people moved from Utica to Syracuse, <laughs> <laughs> they and did. they opened restaurants and so forth. But I, I have to give props to my Utica heritage. Yep. All right. Well, we thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Lots of success for the book. Thank and you. this is really quite good. It is. It is. I like it. It's tasty yeah. and it's so good to look at. It's so pretty. All right. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Thank you.